There's something about linebacker Nate Orchard that makes it hard to believe he's only 23 and in his second year with the Browns. He's a player coming into the 2016 season with high expectations, something second round draft pick Emmanuel Ogba knows all too well. This is Nate Orchard here. We got a special guest on the show today, Emmanuel Agba. Uh, we are very honored to have him here today. He has a busy schedule, and so we we're glad he was able to fit us in. And hey, I'm here with Nate Orchard. Uh, he's a. Uh... Okay, let's start over. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were going to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, so how's having a family and being in the NFL? How hard is that, being away from your family? Man, it's like right now in campus, it's the hardest time just because. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're in the hotels, we're grinding from 7 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. every day, and you only get like half hour to see them, if that. But like right now, they're out of town, mm -hmm. just so they can be with family, because I won't, I won't be around much, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It definitely keeps me grounded, mm -hmm. um, especially when the season rolls around. Yeah. You know, I got my wife and my kids at home. It's like I got something to look forward to every single day. You know, yeah, at the end sure. of work, it makes the end of the day that much better. Even if it was a bad day of practice, whatever, I go home to my kids, man, happy yeah, as can be. I bet that's an awesome feeling, oh, man. It's, it's great. It's great. You're going you're gonna to meet the kids, man. Yeah. You're going to see my wife make some cookies, man. I mean, it's got to be crazy, you know, top pick in the second round. <laughs> Here in Cleveland, I mean, I bet there's so much madness going on in your life. How are you, like, settling? to being in the NFL and handling all that? Uh, well, like you, I, I have to remain grounded. You know, I use my family as, a, as my backbone. You know, every time I just feel down, I talk to my mom or call my, call my brother or yeah. sister to see how they're doing. But you know, it's, it's definitely been a grind, you know. It's, it's tough, you know. You feel like you still have a lot to prove, you know, right. to people. So it's just a lot of hard work that yeah. you got go in, like going through the seat. Definitely, definitely. It's like being a superhero, man. Oh, yeah. with, with great power comes great responsibility, exactly. man. You got a lot of people depending on you. <laughs> sure. Left and right, on and off the field. I, I, I know how you feel, man. I know how you feel. It's like you got the weight of the world on your shoulders, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But hey, you know, I got your back. You ever need anything, dog? I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, what's my expectation for like going to my first game at First Energy Stadium? Man, I tell you what, for your first game, you really gonna, you gonna see the crowd. Yeah. You gonna feel like, this is family, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like the dog pound, um, you're gonna see just the madness, mm -hmm. you know, because the, like the Browns fans are like the number one fans, no matter what, win or lose, they're still there, yeah. uh, ride or die all the way. But you're gonna, you're gonna be in, in awe when you come out that tunnel and you're just gonna see everything like I was when I first got out there. I got you, what about like for your uh, first game at first, and were you like nervous or were you just excited to go. I was a little bit of everything, you know, you got the butterflies, yeah. first game in the league. I'll never forget coming out of that tunnel, they got the flames going. Yeah. You know, in college, we just had a little smoke. But they, they, flames? they got flames, oh. I, got, I got burned. I was like, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> I like trainer. <laughs> but no, it's, it's, it's wild, man, yeah. because you you finally realize, you know what, I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Like, this is the NFL. Mm -hmm. And there are people that would die to be out here doing what we're doing. Exactly. Um, so you just gotta go out and make the most of it, baby, have fun. Yeah. Sure, sure. Like a first love, a player's first NFL game on their home field will never be forgotten. 